so there will be different kind of the agents so two categories of the agent microsoft hosted agent and the self hosted agent and over here if you are talking about the agent right so work continuous integration delivery on the basis of the different code right i have shown you that if you are going with the java code it will be maven installer and accordingly it will be python code it will be python installers that you will have available right so there are certain terminology that you have to be familiar with when you are dealing with the pipeline over here one is your agent so agent is nothing agent is your environment where that pipeline is getting executed artifactory it's nothing but when the code and the dependency has been encapsulated it will be pushing the changes into that artifactory fact section built that it will create a build before it will create an artifact the build will have the installer and your runtime dependency available and then it will be zipping it up in the form of the artifact continuous deployment and delivery so continuous deployment and the delivery is all together a separate section of the pipeline so your pipeline has two section guys so far we are talking about build but you do have the release options over here and within the release option if you see it will does have the set of the task release will going to talk about separately over here right so release where your entire code is getting deployed in one of the resources inside the subscription separate segment altogether of a pipeline currently we are dealing with the build process and then you will have deployment target where exactly you will be creating those resources or where exactly your code is going to be deployed so if you see that particular release your code is getting deployed over here in some of the resources currently it is using your app service plan and you can mention out of multiple subscription that you have which particular subscription it will go ahead and deploy that particular part so it will check whether the subscription belongs to you or not or you have the required permission to deploy the resources in that particular subscription and then it will deploy that particular code on that particular app service plan we'll talk about this release in much more detail only as a part of the discussion just to give you a high level understanding that it will have this particular service connection created that you will be able to deploy that particular section coming back now over here apart from that you will have the deployment target right so deployment target you will have those resources now in the pipeline itself you will have certain set of the things like jobs pipeline release stages task and trigger now guys in some of the interview if your examiner want to get into much more details in terms of the pipeline and they would like to understand this from more granularity right so you have to understand this for each and every specification right so when you say trigger right trigger means from where it is supposed to be initiated pool so let's compare this jobs right so guys inside this particular pool multiple jobs are getting executed right so these tasks are nothing these are the set of the jobs that it will be running right so trigger from where that particular code will be taken pool what kind of the environment it will be using then it will have the jobs over here currently there is no job mentioned because it is having a single job over here with the help of multiple task so task will be the individual action that you will be taking in order to complete a job so job can have several task inside it over here so similarly if you see this particular structure right jobs pipeline and then releases and the stages right so stages means your built stage and deployment stage there are two stages task we talked about that individual section of a job trigger from where the code will be taken and job will have multiple tasks associated with it guys are we able to follow these terminologies over here now the another thing what this particular pipeline is executing pipeline is executing number of tasks that you have inside a job currently if you see the pipeline they have not mentioned the job because this particular pipeline have a single job that inside that particular job you have multiple task okay so just correlate from an example guys in your office right on day to day basis you have certain set of the tasks that you have to do right and that is the part of your job make sense as a part of the employment i need to take care of certain tasks on daily basis right and those tasks are the part of my job easy to understand all of us so in your job description what they have mentioned if you ask for a jd right job description have the list of the tasks that you have to complete right clear guys so if i am doing a job my on daily basis that particular job will have certain test order tasks that we have to fulfill and same goes with this particular pipeline as well 
guys i hope this is easy to remember all of us okay now further you have to evaluate and that what will be your choice microsoft hosted agent and the self hosted agent so guys the first thing that i would like to ask you right on what basis you will going to do the selection whether you need to book a uber or whether you need to rent a car or whether you need to purchase a car a layman example guys now let's say if i am traveling to a town and i'm going to be there for a month so rather booking an uber if i need to frequently travel it is better to rent a car why because i will have that particular car readily available and i can go where i want right if my travel is not planned or if i am not very frequently traveling okay for an example if i need to travel let's say once in a week from point a to point b then who will going to take care of the car maintenance or renting a car right because i am not using it 24 by 7 if i am not oftenly using booking an uber can be a right choice for me in the similar manner guys whether you need to go with a microsoft hosted agent and a self hosted agent just try to correlate with the layman example guys you will be easily able to remember guys microsoft hosted agent is managed by whom by microsoft right and we execute the pipeline and we are asking microsoft to prepare the machine right where my pipeline will be executed so this communication how this communication is happening over here thing guys how this communication is taking place how your code is running the pipeline inside this particular environment how you are calling this particular environment how your code is going to get inside this particular environment for the execution how the communication is taking place just think that this particular code is a person right how this particular person is going to sit into this particular car how this communication is happening this code right the so pipeline the has the set of the task how the traffic is going to get inside this particular environment because of the set of instructions given not a kind of the solution is in the pipe pipeline right is this the communication happening on the public ip or a private ip that's the question is public ip why public ip uh, for self self hosted or set the private ip that we'll talk about but for the microsoft hosted agent it is happening on the public ip right mm -hmm. now if i'm a banking firm do you think guys i'm okay with this mechanism that the website that i'm developing the thing is mm -hmm. this particular machine is managed and controlled by your provider right microsoft mm -hmm. do we know what level of the accessibility microsoft have with the code microsoft says it is compliant what if if i am a german bank what if if i am a chinese authority will i going to give that particular code to the control of this particular environment think guys let's understand the security first guys or we have a separate module we're going to talk about it but guys whenever you are dealing with the communication over the public ip what's the problem why it is not recommended for more secure organization not to communicate over the public ip guys because of hacking attacks guys publicly means that it can be accessible from all the network locations right so something which can be accessible from all the network location the chances of attack will be also on the higher side what do you say guys mm -hmm. anything i am making public it means that not me who can go ahead and target this right others can also target this one right so there can be a security aspect that your organization may not want to use microsoft hosted agent because of the security concern because first it will be communicating over the public ip second my compliance team have a problem with that i am a german based organization and they are not looking for that or probably i am a healthcare firm or probably i am a government based organization and the code that i am writing i don't want that particular code to be communicated over the public ip and the another thing i don't want to give the control to that particular environment towards the provider i would like to have my own control clear guys so mm -hmm. that is one need 
Now that is the drawback. Now let's talk about positives of the Microsoft hosted agent. The positive is that I don't require a machine running 24 by 7 over here. This is something that on the fly will be there. Self hosted agent. Definitely if you will be creating a virtual machine, this particular virtual machine will be created on a particular network, right? And this mm -hmm. particular environment operating system and runtime will be totally controlled by us. So if we are targeting this first of all, I'm getting network level control. So only my traffic will execute over here, right? So I can communicate over the private IP. It means only my organizations can call on this one. The another thing I will have the control on the entire environment. So from the security aspect self hosted agent is recommended. For the performance aspect, it can relatable. Why? Because if I'm using lower performance machine, it can impact the performance. If I'm using higher performance machine, definitely the performance will be better. Because it's just like booking an Uber. If Uber is readily available, you will get the jobs right away. If Uber is not available, it will take time. So Microsoft hosted agent is just like that. It may, right? But the cost is cheaper or economical when it comes to the Microsoft hosted agent because it is not reserving the compute. Once the pipeline will be executed, the job is done. 24 by 7 machine problem is not here. Clear? So when it comes to the cost, recommendation is Microsoft hosted agent. When it comes to the security, the recommendation is self hosted agent. And when it comes to the performance, it's relatable. I mean, if you can go with the higher size of the machine, that is fine. But if somebody has selected lower size of the machine, right? So it is under your control. That can be a problem, right? So that you cannot comment that, okay, every time self hosted agent will give you better performance. Usually it does because you will going to select that particular size of the machine. But if somebody has selected lower, so it is relatable over here. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And if you want to learn more about the concepts discussed in depth, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on Microsoft Azure DevOps certification. Under this free class, you'll be learning about why to learn DevOps on Azure Cloud, what is DevOps, who should learn about it, some demo and a lot of hands-on, and a lot more interesting stuff. So if you want to register for this free class, all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash az4002 and after that you'll be seeing this kind of interface you just have to click on book your free seat now and select any event date according to your availability add your name your email number your phone number and click on book your free seat now and you'll be seeing this kind of url on the extreme right save that add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.